Alright, let's go. Soul Forges. So, I am assuming some of these are going to be Beasts of Prodigum. So we have two Beasts of Prodigum abilities and two that are specifically for Warlocks. Now, of course, I'm going to be selecting my Beasts of Prodigums uh, because I want to see what they're all about. Um, also, once you have selected a Beast of Prodigum Anima Power, the rest of this dungeon or the rest of this Torghast run will uh, reflect Beast of Prodigum type abilities, just to give you a heads up. So once you've chosen one, you've chosen one. So, the first one is Chain of Command, Beast of Prodigum, calls forth Horgle, a powerful shade hound that can stun individual enemies and draw their attention. Or you can get uh, the Wailing Pendant, uh, calls forth Naltari, a powerful soul hunter that can howl to increase allies' combat abilities. We're going to go ahead and select that one for sure. Um, if you want to see some more Torghast runs, again, I am doing a lot more on the channel. Uh, we actually do videos for every layer, just to give you a heads up on that. Uh, so yeah, we have videos for every single layer on Torghast, so you're not going to miss a thing. And yeah. This run, we're gonna get through really quickly though. We're just gonna like try to get as many animal powers from the bosses and all that type of stuff. We're gonna focus on just the animal powers. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into this. This should be an easy run for me. I kind of outdid this anyways, but just wanted to go ahead and see what this little event is all about. And again, this is Soul Forges. It's one of the quicker ones to do, which I, I like to see. But um, I'm gonna try to zerg my way through this as quickly as possible. Those guys take care of that. Let's actually get right in the middle. Should get all of them. Yep. Now, I'm not going to do this on every floor, but. Walk over to you. Just give you guys a little bit of an example of what this is all about. Take. You know what? Don't need to. Don't need to. Let's try to take that. That's easy to do. Did not see you over there, my G. So that's a little Naltari, a little, little hound thing. Kinda looks like a, yeah, it kinda looks, ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. looks very close to uh, one of my demon pets that I can summon. But it is a different uh, shade, a different color. Alright, first boss, let's go, and again, the following four is we will be trying to get through this as quickly as possible, so bear with me. <laughs> it's a little bit of a, a, a twist, if you will, to Torghast, and it's not that much of a difference. It's not that much you can do with the events either, but... Different animal powers. Could make things easier, depending on your class, by the way. Uh, some people do struggle and not have the best of animal powers. Uh, some of these are actually very, very nice to see. So, let's go ahead and keep this going. I want to check something out before we continue.
Okay, so I went into a little bit more details on this online to figure out a little bit more before we start getting into this little run further on. Uh, there happens to be three beasts that you can choose from. Uh, one, again, was Shade Essence Lure, which summons Valiok to your run. Valiok casts Soul Devouring Howl every about 15 seconds, dealing about 1,300 damage to all nearby enemies and silencing them for 3 seconds. Uh, the Wailing Pendant, what I have, uh, summons Naltari for your run. Naltari casts Empowering War every 45 seconds, granting you 30% haste for 12 seconds. And it's basically a bit of um, And also Chain of Command, which summons Horgul. Uh, for the run. Horrible periodically taunts creatures and will periodically leaping maul on enemies stunning them for six seconds which is very very nice as well. Um, I've also been told and I've seen a lot of forum posts on this that it is currently bugged. Uh, there are supposed to be uh, mid run anima powers as well. There's a good handful, over 10 of them in fact, that will be, uh, it, it's kind of like a buff to the beast. Uh, if you will. They, they should be affecting the beast, but currently I have yet to see. And if you do come across this once they've fixed it, the beast of Prodigum will be put into the text of the animal power buff so you know specifically what it's for. Um, as you guys saw on the first options that we had in the beginning of this run. And also, there are no rewards for this. So it's just basically a buff for the run itself. Uh, which is okay, but I mean, it's just kind of dead. Uh, mainly because there's just really no reason to be... I mean, it, it helps a run, that's about it. Is that, what am I doing here? I'm just going to the boss, guys. See if we get any more animal powers and all that type of stuff. But, um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully something comes out. I don't know. I don't need anything. This is a, this is a, a quick run through on a... Which one are we on? I forget which we can... Which one is this? This is Soul Forges. A little quick Soul Forges, but... I overgear this big time. Alright, let's uh, otherwise do the big boys. And pull them to me! Bring the pet here. And clap. Let's go. So yeah, we're basically just gonna complete this run and see if it's fixed. If we find any uh, beast anima powers. But sadly right now, I have yet to see it. It is currently bugged. I'm seeing a lot of reports online, but this is the event that is working as intended, except for the fact that we don't have any powers. Except for the beasts at the start of the event. Hopefully the, uh, the other events are a little bit more interesting than this. Hey! So, okay, so they do work. It's, it's out of chance. So, Beast of Prodigum. So, it's out of chance, guys. Symbiotic Essence. Uh, the healing of your mob beast is increased by 50% and also heals you as well. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, fuck it. it. This is an easy run. I'll take it. Anything for the, for the Beast Boy. Uh, set focus. He does return once he dies. Just give you a little heads up. It doesn't return right away, though. So let's get through this as quickly as we can. So that's pretty much it though. There's not much more to this event except for the fact that if you are geared and you're struggling, this can help you. Um, I am over geared on this big time, so I don't really need to do too much here. But um, we're gonna get through this run as quickly as possible. I did need to do this run for video purposes anyways, not just for this video. I have yet to do this layer and this for um, there's four on this layer, sorry. So I've been wanting to do this anyways, so. You won't be seeing this. But we'll get through this quick. Please just be a straight, straight run through. I think I've been on this four before. I think I've been on this four before. Uh, your, bo your boy, your boy, has a lot of work to do here.
Alright, why the fuck are these guys like more OP than they usually are? I feel like they buff this shit. Alright, let's see. I feel like this is buff. No, I mean, it's, I'm, I haven't, I'm not gonna die, it's just, I feel like it's just a little bit, like, too strong or something. Like, thanks to my pet, you do it again. I usually just run through this whole level without doing a thing. <laughs> so, don't know what's going on here. Nah, I don't summon it. Almost did. I think I chose the wrong way. Nope. We plenty good. We plenty good. Your boy is so good he can stand and shit. Gotta get some usage of you guys. Really want one cast from the both of you, huh? Thanks. That's how my luck works. I don't understand how bosses can do that sometimes. When you can stun something and they can, they, they're still able to get like casts off afterwards, like for no reason. Like the stun doesn't really technically work on all of their abilities. Yeah, hey, we get another one. When your mob beast reaches critical health, it detonates and inflicts. Ooh, it detonates itself. My little detonating boy. Yeah. Dos mas. Almost gone through the soul forges. Feel like I shouldn't do this. But I am. I don't have a soul stone either. That's even dumb of me. Is he dying? I don't know. He, he, he will explode. Alright, so I did go the right way. Just in case, do I go full retard on this? I think he exploded. I don't, I don't see him anymore. No, he's still there. That was easy. I mean, it should be again. This is an easy, an easy lecture to easy cop slayer. I thought I pulled a lot more than that though. Oh come on, just die bro. Yo. I feel like this gotta be healing.
I feel like I'm doing nothing. So what I'm here. Oh, your mob beast regenerates five percent of its health every one second while not in combat. It's another powerful regen, but yeah, it is what it is. We're on the final floor. Let's see if we can proc a uh, a mob beast ability here. I'll buy one of those things specifically with the phantasma. A, a little orb ting. A little soul stone looking icon ting. There we go, there's my little bender boy. Oh, it's an easy cops one. All goods and services one, two, three, four. Let's buy you. And we'll also buy. Ooh, hell yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I haven't seen I've never seen that animal power before. Uh what we got? Yes, we got one. Your mobby's movement speed is creeped by fifty percent and we'll attempt to retrieve loot. <laughs> Thank you. For the finale boss, thank you, my G. Retrieve that loot for me, fam. Retrieve the soul ash for me, mate. Give me that soul ash. I better retrieve the soul ash for me, I'm gonna be pissed. Trying to get it to do something, yeah. What the fuck happened to this layer, dude? This layer feeling a lot more difficult than it used to be. Like, it's not just. Pick your nose, AFK, and think your tough shit there anyway. Fuck it, I lose it anyways. Oh well. It was